So this is how to make coffee. So this is the coffee machine. The first thing you have to do when it's turned off, none of these lights will be lit. You have to hit this power button on the far left. It'll start making all kinds of terrible noises. And don't touch it right now. It's uh, It's got to pump water through this thingy and set itself up. But it is a good time to look at the beans level. So in this case, there's plenty of beans. Um, and the water level, which, um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, right now it's about here, which is plenty of water, but uh, I'll go through um, how to add more beans, which actually, for, for adding beans, you, you just take a bag of beans, say, terrible Dunkin' Donuts beans here, and uh, just pour it into the top. If there's, uh, um, if there's like maybe a, like a, a tablespoon worth of beans, then uh, then it's, that's probably enough to make a cup of coffee, but like a couple of tablespoons of beans are like what you want to shoot for, 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 for beans. But uh, this is already full, so I won't worry about that. The, um, this guy, now it's doing its thing. And hot water will come out through here and go into this tray down here, which uh, I currently need to I need to replace the, uh, the the water in the tray. Don't if you're making coffee, don't worry about that. Um, this little this little bobber thingy will pop up if there's too much water in it, but otherwise don't don't worry about the uh, the water. I'll take care of that. Uh, this guy though, uh, you'll want to once this is done, I'll show you how to replace this. So once the lights stop flashing, it stops making that horrible noise. Right, okay. So push this all the way to the left, grab this guy, pull it open, and then we'll fill it up with filtered water. And if it's below uh, this little bobber here, I think, then it uh, then you'll see the uh, the needs water light on, which it currently is because I've removed this thing. Um, and so if you see that light, then you, you have to add water, it won't let you make coffee. So you just put this in the sink, which is currently full of dishes. <laughs> and add water to it. Normally I use filtered water, but uh, this is just for the purpose of demonstration. There we go. Right there. Slide that guy back into there, and that's that. And so the next thing we need to do is get some mugs, or uh, for today, just a mug. Um, one thing I really like to do, but if, if you're making me coffee or uh, if you're making somebody else coffee, this isn't this is an optional step. But I really like to do this: is uh, I heat up the mug. So I'll run hot water. Wait for that to get hot. I'll run hot water over the mugs until they're nice and warm. And uh, what that does is um, it'll make the mug it'll make the mug really warm. Um, and the first time that the coffee touches the uh, touches the mug, if the mug is cold, it takes all of the heat out uh, of the coffee. And so basically, it, uh, it it keeps the coffee at at a good temperature because once coffee cools down the first time, it, uh, it its flavor changes. And if you heat it back up again, it tastes a lot more stale. It tastes like uh, coffee that you've gotten at a gas station or something or uh, McDonald's. Um, so, yeah, we want the mugs. Let's get in there. So now it's nice and warm. It's like bath water temperature, and the mug feels nice and warm, too. Plus, it also helps rinse out the mug. If you've got, like, you know, dirty mugs or whatever, you can rinse them out and heat them up at the same time. Uh, another trick is when it's cycling the water, you can just, uh, uh, when, when you first turned on, uh, when you hit the power button, uh, the water that it puts into the mug is extremely hot, and that'll heat up the mug pretty well, too. And then if you rinse it out, that'll uh, uh, make, it, make it clean and warm. Yeah. So now this is the really hard part. So you want to make one cup of coffee, you have to hit the one cup of coffee button. Good God. Complex. And I'm going to put this over here. This is the, the steamer. 
and uh, while it's doing its thing over there, uh, and there should be a, a flask set aside, that, or I'm sorry, a beaker set aside that says milk on it. I've scratched that in with a bolt, and so what we're going to do with this one is um, uh, set it there and grab some milk. This is if you want to make cappuccino. If you just want to wake my ass up, you can really just bring me coffee with sugar. <laughs> but, uh, uh, um, anyway, uh, so we'll put in just enough milk to be at like, like 75 milliliters is good, but 100 milliliters is a little bit easier to steam. So, there we are. About 100 milliliters ish. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so we turn this guy on. So this thing will start shooting water, and so you want to keep it over this this great thingy here. Um, this here, this this film over the top of the coffee is called the crema, and that's a sign of really really good coffee. Uh, good coffee will have this uh, this film of sediment over the top of it. So once this starts um, going from dripping to actually spraying steam, then you just take this guy and stick it underneath and hold it in there. And uh, you'll see the uh, you'll see the milk increasing in volume. And there's really no special trick to this. You just like leave it there and, and slowly lower it. You want to keep the um, you want to keep it to where it, it, it sounds like it does right now. If you bring it too near to the surface, it'll go it'll sound like that. So you want to leave it at about that level. And so long as the volume keeps increasing, then you're okay. Just keep lowering it down as it increases in volume. And then once it's about this big, uh, stick your finger on the bottom of the uh, of the the beaker. And uh, oh dear, look at it. So you stick your finger on the bottom of the beaker to see how uh, see how hot it is. If it's nice and warm, which it was when I when I was doing the thing there, um, then you uh, you set it down and turn this all the way back over to off. So this is steam goes on. This is steam goes off. And then we just take this and we take that. And this is actually a little heating pad up here. Um, so it's this is about bath water temperature right now. And we just pour the, I'll do this down where I can actually see what I'm doing. Just take the milk and pour it onto, you want to get the foam in there too. So now it's all nice and foamed up. And there is a cappuccino. And so this guy gets really gunky really quickly. So I like to rinse it out immediately afterwards, otherwise the milk dries onto it. And so this beaker gets uh, uh, set back up here, and then we put the milk away. I am always forgetting to do that. Um, and then this jar here, uh, it's supposed to say sugar, but it currently says blank because of time and age. Uh, so we open that up, and we take an entire spoonful, and even it out so it's like nice and level, and you just dump that right onto the top of the coffee. The uh, the cool thing about this method is that the sugar will sink down underneath the surface and it'll actually sweeten the, um, uh, the, the foam on the top of the coffee. So tap that to get any excess sugar off, drop that there, close this thing back up again. Boop. And then grab a spoon from yon drawer. These, these spoons are nice. Like down there. Fancy. And then stick it in and uh, make contact with the bottom and just like kind of spin it around a bunch. And that'll get the, the sugar off the bottom. You'll actually, you'll actually be able to feel it through the spoon. It'll be like crunchy and crispy on the bottom. And, uh, and there you go. That is a cappuccino. Nope. Ah, nectar of the gods. So. Our coffee thingy. So there is cappuccino, and that is whatever the fuck that is. Oh, espresso shots, which is what this is. This machine is. It actually makes shots of espresso, and it has foam and steamed. Wait, wait what? Oh yeah, there it is. Steamed milk. So there's our cappuccino.